Hi guys, so welcome to the second video in my peak series. So this is the start of my second week um, in the peaking program and it signals the first week in my Russian Masters squat program. So the first session was six sets of two at 80% and the first thing I noticed was my depth is not on point. I wasn't happy with how deep I was getting and I can sort of attribute this to a few different things but I'm basically just going to work on this stretch out my hip flexors, make sure I'm burying my reps for the next few weeks, make sure that I'm hitting depth and uh, hopefully it'll kind of just come back to me and I'll have a nice movement pattern um, and get stronger within that sort of movement again. The other thing I did on this day was some feet up benching which was recommended to me by Mark at Cast Iron Strength. He's uh, got a lot of information and good information at that. Um, he's worked with a lot of different athletes and has been very successful in his uh, kind of strength and conditioning career from what I know. Um, so if you check him out on YouTube and Facebook, um, you can get quite a lot of good information from him there. Um, and I felt, I felt the benefits immediately. I did a 5x5 five five with 80 kilos, which is really light for me and the change from the competition style um, just made it extremely tough so I'm clearly weak in that sort of movement and need to strengthen it. What I've got coming up next is my deadlift work from today so I'm working through Cohen, um, a 10 week peaking program and um, I have here 175 kilos for a double. I'm utilizing slow eccentrics throughout all my deadlift work. This might change when the weights get heavier um, and I'm not and I'm sort of needing all the energy to lift the weight off the ground rather than using it on the way back down as well but at the moment I want to really try and work on um, maintaining my position as much as possible and uh, having to maintain a strong position for longer basically means that I'm working in that position for longer and the muscles are getting better conditioned and things so that's kind of the plan there um, following the top set in Cohen you have your speed or technique sets and uh, for these I'm working without a belt at the moment. I'm not being strict about not wearing a belt. If I feel that I need to wear a belt on some days then that's something I'm happy to do. It's all basic, based upon how fatigued I am and how I feel on that particular day. Um, I mean my lifts felt heavy today um, but actually watching them back they seem to be quite clean. Um, I've got a bit of hips shooting up I think in my last set which is just showing now um, but I'm quite happy with everything else apart from that. Following on from this um, I was working on the accessory work. Uh, normally with Cohen this is done in a circuit style and some people think that's down to uh, the, the original program being written for a strongman and sort of there to be as sort of conditioning as well as strengthening for strong men as they have to do a lot of uh, kind of cardio work while carrying weights I guess um, but because I don't have the, the luxury of having more than one bar I find it easier to just do it as one exercise followed by the next um, and as well as the good mornings, the pull ups and the Romanian deadlifts I also did some bent over rows um, so I, this is me coming to the end of the video now um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave a comment below and uh, as always thanks for watching